Hi, my name is Matt Carroll with World Class Coaching, and today with the help of Academy Sports Coach 2022, I want to talk to you about a session that I designed um, that's going to discuss the role of center backs in attacking positions. Um, some previous video I did, uh, we did one on the defending aspect, now this one transitions over to the attacking aspect of our center backs. Um, I got a lot of the ideas for this session from this book we have available on the website called The Role of Two Center Backs Attacking. Um, so I'll put that into the comment section so you can check that out um, for yourself and check out this really great book on um, the dynamics of uh, getting your center backs to be more attacking. Um, really great um, examples in there, um, in-game examples, highlighting specific players, um, statistics, facts, everything you need um, to start developing your center backs um, to more attacking uh, facets of your game within your system. Um, so here I have, um, you know, just the, kind of the big concepts is if you think about center backs, you know, the traditional center back, no nonsense, big tackles, you know, big clears, all that stuff, dominating maybe a couple goals on the other end um, from corners. Um, but in the game we, we have today, your center backs have to be able to dribble. They have to be able to be attacking players. They have to be able to take um, uh, pressing forwards 1v1 to create the space, uh, especially when they're under pressure. So what I have here is um, 2v1. We can go either way. This could be your center back. This could be your center back. Uh, we flip this one over here, whatever you want to do. But in this situation, I have the attacker comes at the defender. When the defender wins the ball, they don't go to an end zone or goal. They're instantly trying to play to a target player. This could be actual players. I like the idea of having the coaching sticks maybe with a little cone around it. Um, if they can hit that, you know, they can hit a player. Uh, if they can be that actor coming out the back um, with a, a cone with maybe uh, – or stick with it, maybe a cone around it like this, um, you know, that's a pretty solid passing uh, ability. Um, I would say, you know, if you do that, you're, you're going to be able to do anything you want in the game. Um, so I like this concept. So it's just 1v1s to targets getting them to utilize their ability, getting them to utilize their footwork. You can't have the old center back who can't really do much. You need someone who's be able to play a little bit fluidly um, out the back. Um, so then what I would go from there is to implement the idea of the two center backs working together with the target player. So there's a pressing forward here we're going to implement. And the two center backs are looking to possess the ball. And the six can move anywhere on this line to possess the 3v1. Okay. So we've got the center backs playing the ball together, creating the space, the width to open the field up. And they can anytime go to the six. And the six then can retreat back to them. So as soon as they get pressed, they're providing that defensive option. So we're getting it. Okay. 1v1, working on technical skill. 2v1, we're, we're kind of putting them into the modality of this is what it'll look like in the game. This is the set. Two center backs playing with a six. You have two sixes, maybe you have two sixes in there, um, but giving that, that forward option. And what I would then do is in this situation, I'm going to create the one center back has gone a little bit more forward. So I'd have um, a line of cones here separating the field. And we have a pressing forward coming down here and attacking our center back. So we initially start the drill with a 1v1, okay? And then I'll put another defensive option for defender here. This is maybe they're, they're, they're 10, they're 8, whatever it may be. And another guy here. So what we're looking for is for this center back to go 1v1 against this pressing forward. If they're able to create the space for a pass, they're going to play over here to the 6, and then they're going to move forward with the 6, and create a 2v1. Now you can have sticks here, you can have a goal. For this example, I'll just, uh, that's the wrong one, I'll have a pug goal over here. Okay, we have another pug goal on the other end for them to attack to. Um, so again, we have this situation where we're using our technical skill, the 1v1 we developed early in the, se in the, in the session, to then play the pass, we just worked in the 2v1 to six, but then we're going from there, how can we make this an attacking option? How can we play off of the, um, um, the the, uh, the six to create an opportunity for a center back to then go forward. So where we'll move from there, excuse me, we'll move from there is adding the element of 2v1. Element of a cross coming in. So it could be a coach, it could be a player. We'll have some player or coach or whatever it may be play across into one of the center backs. Okay. And we, you know, to make it a little easier, we have 
But you get this guy set up wide. And I'm gonna go on the other end. Okay, so we have the ball crossed in to what would be the 18. And this player's job, the center back, is to. Um, I didn't want that one. Is to clear this ball to one of the wide players. So let's say in this instance, he receives a cross and he clears the ball. This player gets the ball. What we're then looking for this center back to do is get forward. The defender goes. This guy kind of just pops out. And we have a 2v1 from the cross to go at to, uh, to go against this guy. So now we're implementing the idea of, okay, well, the ball just came in. We were able to do our defensive duties, clear a ball out. How can we turn this into an attacking position from uh, attacking opportunity from the center back position? So a wider player gets it played back to the center back. We go forward. We go against um, the opposition um, midfield or, or forwards pressing, whatever it may be. So we're really working on providing a lot of variability to s similar options. For a center back, there's not too many, too many attacking options. Uh, if you're going to play um, short, you're going to play a six, you're going to play a wide area. Um, but generally, it's going to be you playing to the six and trying to get forward or you beating a forward and utilizing maybe the midfield has dropped off and dribbling through. Um, so those are a lot of the options you're going to see in different situations from a short passing opportunity. So what I have here now is we'd go to um, more of a, a direct option. So what I have here is I've taken this grid. Enough yet, and I have two grids over here. And I have... My center back here. And I have one here, one here. And defender. Now this would probably be a little further away. A little further away here. And what we have is, I need one more actually. We have a 1v1. Okay, where well the defender is going to come in from here, and they're going to try to press the center back. Now the center back can utilize the move to create more space, whatever they may do. But we're looking for a center back to play a long ball from that position to one of the wide players. Okay, so getting kind of giving what the taking what the defense gives you. The press this way, he's going to play this ball out wide. The center back then is going to make a run and create a two v one situation. So in this situation, we're similar to the last kind of drill, but this time you're looking to play a long, direct, seeking ball to a forward, but then to continue that, getting you involved in um, uh, the attack as well. So this is kind of like a little bit of a deeper play on the 2v1 situations we've created previously. And then the way I'd like to end this session is what I like to call the gauntlet. Okay, so we'll have defending player here, still need two goals. Defending player here, goal here, and we'll have our center back here. And again, we'll start with a cross coming in from the wide area. We'll have a setup here, another uh, wide area of ball here, and we'll have a defender. So in this situation, called running the gauntlet, we want to do double time. So we're going to defend a cross, and we're going to score from a cross. So in this situation, the ball comes in. This attacking player is trying to get to it. We're trying to clear it, okay? So we're looking to score a point by, let's say, maybe you create a little grid area, a little tiny square here. You create some kind of grid area where if the player can play into this grid off the clear, they get a certain amount of points. Uh, maybe it's clear out of the 18, whatever it may be. Maybe it's to a target, whatever it is. So the first initial stage is um, uh, maybe it's just they, get, they were able to win the ball, they're able to clear it and get the second ball whatever it may be, but they're able to clear a corner. Then the player runs the gauntlet. They run up to the next grid, and they are going to try to shake the defender in the next grid and score from a corner from here. So defending a corner on one end, then going off and scoring on the other end. So, um, you know, it's kind of every uh, center back's dream to score in this way, to, you know, to, to make the big tackle and then to score a big header on the other end. Um, so you're kind of getting them to to – Experience that. It's a fun game, but you're also taking in all the things we've worked on, the transition, the movement forward, finding space, shaking the defender, um, being big aerially, both offensively and defensively. So a nice fun game to, if you're going to focus on your center backs to utilize um, in your training session. 
Um, so, yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys like to do with your center backs. How do you like to get your center backs involved in the attack? You know, I've really focused predominantly on utilizing the six um, as a target player to roll off of and get forward. Um, but there, there, there's different ways. I mean, if you look at Chris Wilder's teams um, um, that he was utilizing the three center back uh, shift where they had six drop in and the, the center backs became almost outside backs and um, transitioning and different things uh, some people do. I'd love to hear what you guys do uh, and how you utilize your center backs in attacking positions. Um, so again, my name is Matt Carroll with World Class Coaching. I'm with the help of Academy Sports Coach 2022 and the book, The Role of Center Backs Attacking, which I'll put into the, uh, the comments section for you guys to check out. I uh, hope the session finds you well.